Hello and welcome to Deadline Northeast, a program that gives you an overview of the developments in India's Northeast region. I'm your host, Karim Zimik, and here are the top stories of today's program. Road connectivity witnessing a revolutionary change in Assam. Chhat festival celebrated with religious zeal in Northeast India. And Ningol Chakauba festival celebrated in Manipur amid coronavirus. The Northeast region is reaping peace dividends with the rapid development of road infrastructure. The realignment of National Highway 37 from Bogibul Junction to Bakul was recently inaugurated in Assam. The construction of Dibrugar Bypass has been implemented by National Highways and Infrastructure Development Corporation Limited, a report. In yet another boost in road connectivity, the realignment of National Highway 37 from Bogubil Junction to Bakul Dibrugar Bypass was recently inaugurated at Japi Sajia in Dibrugar. Assam Chief Minister Sarvananda Sonowal inaugurated the 15.447 km project, which is constructed at a cost of Rs 96.84 crore. The Chief Minister praised the Centre for taking initiatives of bringing about revolutionary changes in the road connectivity, especially in the Northeast. The construction of Debrugar Bypass, realignment of NS37 from Bogubil Junction on engineering procurement and construction basis of the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways has been implemented by National Highways and Infrastructure Development Corporation Limited. डिब्रुगर तिनसु क्या पहले हम लोग का एक घंटा 30 मिनट्स ऐसा लगभग टाइम हम लोग का ले लिया था अभी ये बाईपास निर्माण होने के बाद ओनली 40 मिनट्स हम लोग तिनसु का पहुंच जाएंगे इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट गिफ्ट फॉर द पीपल ऑफ डिब्रुगर एंड एंटायर अपार असम अर्लियर पीपल हु इज टू कम फ्रॉम गुवाहाटी साइड और जोरहट गोइंग टू तिनसु किया दिगबोय एंड सम अदर ओनेचल प्रोडेस टाउन्स दे हैव टू एंटर डिब्रुगर टाउन to go to their places. Now, now, they, now the people, they can just bypass the road. The Northeast region is witnessing a new dawn with peace and development as prime concern for the states and the center. A budget of crores of rupees is allocated for the construction of new roads, bridges and rail network. With better connectivity, the region will flourish more with opportunities in tourism and manufacturing sectors. Moving on, amidst the cure stormed in by the prevailing COVID-19 situation, the subtle serene beauty of cherry blossom is alluring many tourists and the locals in Meghalaya will give you a glimpse. The wispy pink and white cherry blossom has bloomed again in the Scotland of East Shillong. Also known as Pruna cerasoideus, these cherry blossoms are a gift from the Himalayas and cover the whole East and West Khasi Hills of Meghalaya. These gorgeous and vibrant flowers are grown in the wild. They are also planted along the avenues in the town so you can spot them anywhere and everywhere. I always make it a point every year to take out time from my busy schedule as a lawyer. I like to spend and take pictures of trees, meet people, interact with them. Because after Japan, I think Shillong is the most happening place for cherry blossom. The entire city of Shillong is the vast with the pink hues of these spectacular blossoms. To cherish the alluring essence of the cherry blossom season, India's International Cherry Blossom Festival is hosted every year with eclectic performances from different cultures. Cherry blossoms is really rare to see 
normally as an occasion and in Japan it happens like almost every year throughout and there's a lot of sakura festivals too but in Shillong this is like the only place where you see the cherry blossoms as like a beautiful sight because you barely see these colors on a normal day basis right so it's like really pretty and a lot of tourists come here to enjoy this sightseeing because it's such a pretty season to come on and normally the cherry blossom festival also happens where the whole place is covered with cherry blossoms unfortunately this year it's not happening um, but it's a beautiful place to come and sightsee and a lot of tourists from all over the place they always come. Due to the current pandemic, the event has been put to a halt but the heartwarming beauty of this blossom is still catering some tourists. It is expected that the flowers will continue to bloom till the end of November. The cherry blossoms here are very beautiful and so like um, the tourists every year come from like Assam and even like outside places just to like see the cherry blossoms here. Like last year there were a lot of people coming from Mumbai just to see this place and even this year uh, even though the pandemic is going on there are like a lot of tourists coming here just to see the cherry blossoms and I think in the northeast this is like one of the only places where you will see cherry blossoms everywhere like all around the city so it's a beautiful place to visit in india the cherry blossom is found most notably in himalayan states like himachal pradesh uttarakhand jammu and kashmir sikkim and northern district of west bengal moving on honey produced in tripura has many medicinal properties and interestingly, honey farming is witnessing a rise in the state. With the recent reopening of a honey processing unit, the beekeepers and cultivators of the state is all set to re-engage in this activity. Here's more. Lifting the lid of a beehive, meticulously pulling out the frames captured by buzzing bees, honey farmers in Tirpura are re-engaging with beekeeping. The Tirpura Khadi and Village Industries Board has recently reopened a honey processing center in Agartala. The center works for processing, packaging and quality control of honey from beekeepers and cultivators and also help in marketing and selling the products. हम लोग हनी प्रोसेसिंग त्रिपुरा का जो हनी होगा इसको प्रोसेस करके मार्केटिंग के लिए ये त्रिपुरा खादी एंड विलेज इंडस्ट्रीज बोर्ड एक उद्योग लिया है आज से ये प्रक्रियाकरण आज के ये आज से ये प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट चालू किया है ऑब्जर्विंग द स्कोप ऑफ बी कल्टीवेशन इन द स्टेट Tirpura Khadi and Village Industries Board has been training farmers from many villages in the state Sajal Devnath is one such farmer. In 1989, he got trained in beekeeping from the Khadi board and since then, he is doing profitable farming. In the past, we have been working on our machine. 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 With increase in the number of beekeepers, the agricultural production has a scope to escalate as the rearing of bees will help in pollination and fertilization in the plants. Today, this uh, honey processing unit uh, restarted and with this, the farmers who are, uh, uh, who are uh, doing the culture of bee uh, beekeeping they are doing, uh, beekeepers, they will get the benefit and this will increase their livelihood uh, and uh, double their income. Under the National Honey Mission, the Tirpura Khadi and Village Industries Board has taken initiative for increasing the production of honey in the state by popularizing beekeeping in 12 blocks where 25 beneficiaries have been trained. Let us now take a look at some of the events that made news in the Northeast recently. Former Assam Chief Minister Tarun Gogoi, who had been battling for his life with post-COVID complications in hospital for weeks, died of multiple organ failure on 23rd of November. 
Prime Minister Narendra Modi has condoled his death and said he was a popular leader and a veteran administrator. He was 86 and is survived by his wife Dolly, daughter Chandrima and son Gaurav Gogoi. The Northeast's first ever cow hospital was inaugurated recently in Assam's Dibrugar on the occasion of Gopasthami festival dedicated to Lord Krishna and cows. The hospital Surbi Arogya Shala is set up by Sri Gopal Goshala at a total cost of Rs 17 lakh. There are 368 cows in the shelter. Meanwhile, the president of the Sri Gopal Goshal Nirmal Betia stated that the hospital would provide services in a 30-kilometer radius. The prize distribution ceremony of the online photography competition was recently organized by the Information and Public Relations Department in collaboration with the Mizoram's Photographers Society. The program was held at the office chamber of the INPR director of P. Lalian Pui. The online contest was held during September and October this year in which 91 entries were received from 35 participants. The competition was held to promote young, talented visual artists of the state. The government of Sikkim recently celebrated World Fisheries Day at the height of 12,000 feet at Menimoitso for the first time. In the program, the letter of appreciation was also handed over to employees of the Directorate of Fisheries for the remarkable and commendable service to their directorate. The program saw the distribution of trout fingerlings procured from Denmark to the beneficiaries of four districts. The famous Malini Thaan archaeological site in Likabali in Lower Siang district has been open for visitors since November 21. A new grand temple constructed as a replica of the ruined one display gallery for displaying the monuments found from excavation and landscape lightings are the added attractions. Along with the rest of the country, the Northeast region too celebrated Chhat Puja. Chhat Puja, wherein Chhati Maya or Goddess Osha is worshipped, is an ancient Vedic goddess personification of dawn and is performed on the sixth day of Kartika in the lunar calendar. Have a look. Observed on Kartik Shukla Shashti, Chhat Puja traces its origin to prehistoric Vedic times and has now got a special significance as a folk festival. Dedicated to Chhati Maya, also known as Shashti Mata and Surya, along with his wives Usha and Sandhya, the four-day festival holds immense significance for the devotees who observe fast and stand in waist-deep water to present religious offerings to the sun god. In Tripura, thousands of devotees, mainly from Bihar, celebrated with full devotion in the state capital, Agartala. However, due to the pandemic, the gathering was comparatively less this year than in previous years. विश्वास पे है किसी को जो मनोकामना पूर्ण करना है तो लोग इसलिए भी करते हैं ये बहुत पूर्व समय से चलता आ रहा है हमारे मिथिला में ये छठ पूजा सब आप तो सब मनाते हैं ये छठ पूजा The rituals and traditions of the festival are considered to be one of the toughest in Hinduism as the devotees fast for 36 hours without a single bite of food or drop of water In Guwahati Devotees gathered at the Khejul Bagan Rani Pukur Lake to celebrate the festival. On the first day, also known as Nahakhai, devotees take a dip in the river Ganga and drink the holy water of the river to make prasad at home. On the second day, devotees make an offering that comprises of kheer, chapatis and bananas, which they consume in the evening after a full day of fasting without water. On the third day, devotees keep fasting without food and water till the next sunrise. Bhagwan Bhaskar is a god. 
जिनकी पूजा आराधना से सारे कष्टों का निवारण होता है परिवार में सुख शांति समृद्धि आती है ये बड़े ही गर्व की बात है कि भगवान सूर्य हमेशा अरुणाचल से उदय होते हैं और विश्व के हर एक कोने में इनकी किरणें पहुंचती हैं तो जहां इनकी किरणें पहुंचती हैं हर प्राणियों को सुख शांति समृद्धि मिलती है इसको जिसमें संयम नहीं है वो ही इसका फास्ट कर ही नहीं सकते हैं बहुत ज़्यादा पेशेंस और बहुत ज़्यादा क्या बोलते हैं पावर चाहिए उसके लिए तो मतलब बहुत ज़्यादा महत्व है बहुत ज़्यादा जागंत जिसे बोलेंगे बहुत ज़्यादा जागंत भी है ये छठ फेस्टिवल लास्ट फॉर फोर डेज विच इंक्लूड्स वेरियस कस्टम्स इंक्लूडिंग होली बेदिंग fasting standing in water during dusk and dawn for long periods and offering prasad prayer and arg to the sun as it rises and sets covid 19 bahut acche se public ke support se control level pe hum logo ne laya hai koi bhi parv ya koi bhi aisa jamghat jo hai aisa nahi hona chahiye ki fir se jo mehnat hai public ka prashasan ka health vibhag ka sara घूमिल हो जाए तो उन्होंने अपील किया कि सर इस बार जो है और छठ का जो नियम नीति है जो रीति रिवाज है उससे बड़े अच्छे से घर पे किया जा सकता है उसे टेरेस पे किया जा सकता है आंगन में किया जा सकता है मोहल्ले में किया जा सकता है द सन गॉड इज ऑल्सो सेट टू एंश्योर द लॉन्गिविटी एंड प्रॉस्पेरिटी ऑफ फैमिली मेंबर्स फ्रेंड्स एंड एल्डर्स निंगोल चकोबा is the biggest festival of the Meite community in Manipur which is celebrated in November every year. The festival is a unique celebration of the bond between married women and their families. It also aims to spread the message of peace and harmony. Donning in a red colored Manipuri traditional dress, a daughter visits her parents' home. The mother welcome her daughter as she steps in the house to celebrate Ningol Chakauba months after lockdown. Ningol means daughter and Chakauba means an invitation for a meal or feast. The invitation is usually made by the brother of the married woman almost a week in advance. This day particularly marks the epitome of pipa's or brother's love for their sisters. On this joyous day, married daughters along with the children come home in a festive mood to be reunited with their family over a scrumptious feast. The markets in Manipur come alive as both men and women shop for eatables, gifts, and other religious materials. Asayi magi manunda ningon takuba amun tholo pore akoi ningon jingidi yam harawi. One of the most essential elements of the festival is a gastronomically delightful meal prepared for the daughters. Nga thongba or fish curry and iromba, Manipur chutney, are the signature delicacies of Manipuri cuisine on this occasion. Despite the ongoing pandemic, Shaki Devi, a daughter, shares her emotions visiting her parents for the festival. Ah, do ki de ah ki babu de ki ah do ka ki babu de pa wey ah do do ka su ah sahiye magi am tang to ko ni na ba ko yam chat ning ba to ay di ipa ima je ipa hanure ah digi yam to ina susat pa ngam dre ah day da. The day comes to an end on a happy note, leaving the family bond stronger and reinstating love both among the families and society as a whole. With that, we have come to the end of this episode of Roving Report. Do connect with us through our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter at anyindia underscore ani. Like and subscribe Roving Report YouTube channel, and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the latest news updates from the Northeast. I'm your host Skyrim Zimik signing off. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye and take care.